Ukraine have said that they expect to kick out the Russians who illegally moved to Crimea after its annexation in 2014. That's from the Kiev Independent. We're also going to be looking at Vladimir Putin's claims that he has sufficient cluster bomb mutilations for tit for tat. That's also from the Kiev Post. I'm going to read both of these with a little bit more and give my thoughts. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with not one but two articles, one from the Kiev Independent, one from the Kiev Post with regards to not so much directly the conflict in Ukraine, but some claims uh, from what Putin has said and from what the Independent here of what Ukraine said they're going to do. This one is very interesting to say the least. So the official says Ukraine experts expects to kick out Russians who illegally moved to Crimea after its annexation. Does that feel democratic? If I mispronounce names wrong, I do apologise in advance. So Tamiya Tisiska, President of Vladimir Zelensky's permanent representative for Crimea, told Newsweek on July 16th that Ukraine would have to deal with an estimated half a million to 800,000 Russian citizens who came illegally to Crimea after its annexation. A goal to Tashiska, who did not leave before the liberation of the peninsula, would be faced with false expulsion. Tashiska says Kiev, who also punishes as many as 10,000 Ukrainians on the peninsula for cooperating with Russian occupi occupation, occupation authorities. Tashiska said that Ukrainian citizens living in Russian occupied ter territory did not necessarily mean that they were collaborators in such cases. Ukraine would do everything to protect their rights. <sighs> But those Russians who came to Crimea after its annexation illegally, okay, it, I know, but is it right to push them out of it as well? That's the question. Like that's the thing that's kind of bothered, that's kind of got me, uh, kind of me got me thinking. Like, it does that, is that fair? You know, does that not make 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 Ukraine as bad as Russia for doing that for pushing them out? Now, the part of me does think like that, feel that that doesn't feel right. And there can be excruciating, excruciating circumstances. Many of them were victims of Russian propaganda, all intimidation and threats of the Russian legal system, and even Russian cultural language. All these need to be taken in, to, into consideration, Tashvika added. Yes, absolutely. You need to take all these things uh, into consideration when we're talking about, you know, punishing... Uh, Ukrainians who allegedly may have worked cooperated with Russians or have intentionally been working with the Russians in inside Crimea so they need to be extremely delicate in that situation if it does come to pass and they do reclaim the peninsula that is for sure the appropriate legal framework has been considered to punish those Ukrainians who have actively been aiding Russian occupy, occupation authorities Tashisko explained Russia staged a sham referendum in 2014 to annex the Crimean Peninsula. It's been used as a military base by Russian forces. Just, I think, on the, um, you know, just for me, it just doesn't sit right for me that they're going to, that they're, they're threatening to kick out half a million to 800,000 Russian citizens who came illegally to Crimea after its annexation. To me, it just doesn't feel right. I could be wrong. Um, maybe you guys have a different different opinion on that, but I just think that you know um, were they pushed into it? How, how do we know that they weren't pushed in it to by Russia? You know, um, I think we need to be. I think they need to be uh, need to have a, a rethink of that very carefully before kind of jumping the gun to say that um, that they should just push them straight out. For me, it doesn't doesn't sit sit right at all when I think about um, those Russian citizens because they've been there for now what nearly 10 years, 9 years wasn't it, 9 years ago now that they've been there so it's a long time to, to push Russian citizens out there uh, out of Crimea so I do think they need to have a, re a rethink on that one especially if you consider yourself a democratic country which they are what well, you think they want themselves to be Ukraine, that is for sure. So we go from that, uh, from here, to the Kiev Post. So Putin says Russia has sufficient cluster mutilations for tit-for-tat. 
Uh, Ukraine started receiving cluster weapons from the United States and moved that spark concerns due to the long-term risk poised to civilians by bomblets that failed to explode. So we have talked about uh, cluster bombs. Um, I have covered it um, before already, and I'm sure you guys have heard of it from one or two other YouTubers as well out there and how dangerous these weapons are. Um, but the fact that Putin is... Um, Putin has already said he's prepared to use them himself. It should not be a surprise, but he's saying he's had sufficient, but let's um, read more into it. So, Russian President Vladimir Putin said his country has had enough cluster mutilation to answer if Ukraine has to use the weapon in an interview published on Sunday. Ukraine started receiving cluster weapons from the United States to move that spark concerns that due to the long-term risk posed by civilians by bombardments that failed to explode. Russia has significant stockpiles of various kinds of cluster mutilations, Putin told the state tele televised journalist. The controversial weapon could disperse up to several hundred small char explosive charges, which can remain unexploded on the ground. If they are used against us, we will reserve we will reserve our the rights for tit for tat action, Putin said. He added that Russia has not yet used the weapon, despite a certain shortage of mutilations at some point. Human Rights Watch and Ukrainian forces have accused Russia of already using the cluster mutilations on the battlefield. They are banned by m numerous countries, notably in Europe. There are signatories to 2008 Oslo Convention, to which neither Russia, the United States, nor Ukraine are parties. Humanitarian groups have strongly condemned the US decision to supply cluster mutilations to Ukraine. US Joe Biden said the decision was very difficult, but stressed Ukraine needed extra ammunition to, fill, to, to, to refill its depleted stocks. I just think that. Um, it, it, you know, in this conflict, it's kind of scary when you think about it that, that they're, they're going to use these weapons that are going to be that can easily kill um, kill um, citizens. But um, Putin's saying that uh, making the threat that he's going to he's going to do the same to same to 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 uh, to us when um, human rights campaigners and Russian Ukrainian forces are already saying, well, you guys are already using it apparently. Um, is what they're saying there, um, um, but uh, it's interesting to say the least that um, I still look back on that and I think is this the right choice by America to be providing them these weapons that are extremely dangerous? Um, I just don't think don't think it's the right choice. There are, there are plenty of other ways of supporting Ukraine, and I don't think this is one of them. As for Putin saying saying Russia is done it well. He's saying he's saying that he's not using them and are prepared to use them, but human rights and Ukrainian forces are claiming to have used them. But we don't know 100% what's going on on these battlefields. That's for sure. Um, but Putin is definitely not himself. That's for sure. Um, so we should be cautious of that. <sighs> what do you make of these updates? Do you think Putin is already using these cluster bombs? Uh, are you guys? Would you guys be surprised if if um, if he hasn't? Uh, what do you guys make of Crimea and the very thought that half a million to eight hundred thousand Russian citizens could be just pushed out of Crimea, even though some even though some of them have been there for nine years since it's an, since it was annexed illegally by Russia? Interested to get your thoughts on those guys. Like, share, and subscribe as always, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you all very very soon.